हेलो एवरीवन डियर फ्रेंड्स आई नो दैट मेनी ऑफ यू आर वेटिंग फॉर महाराष्ट्र सेट प्रैक्टिस डोंट वरी वी विल डू एच पी सेट महाराष्ट्र सेट एंड आल्सो तमिलनाडु सेट एवरी वीक बट इवन इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर महाराष्ट्र सेट और तमिलनाडु सेट डोंट थिंक एच पी सेट विल नॉट हेल्प यू ऑल द थ्री यू शुड अटेंड प्लीज we are following previous questions but we are also sure that there will be a lot of overlapping areas so please follow all the set practice sessions okay ankita what do you say yes like you know areas like british literature theory terms criticism these are very sure shot areas so if you keep on practicing uh, questions from this area so for sure you will get some common questions some common ideas so please keep on uh, uh, watching every session and uh, stay with us live and i'm sure this is going to help you this is going to help all of you yes yes and also dear friends please like the video subscribe and press the bell button so that you will get the notification every time so here we go hp set crash course day 1 we're doing paper 2 okay first question this can come in mh set and uh, tamil nadu set also this this author i won't tell you which author because it is a secret <laughs> maloy malone dies and the unnameable this is a trilogy and do you know what it was written in french who wrote it it's a pyq is it john osborn samuel beckett joseph conrad or henry james who wrote maloy malone dies and the unnameable ankita what do you think yes this trilogy was written by samuel beckett Samuel Beckett wrote a trilogy of novels did you know that he wrote plays waiting for godo the end game happy days but apart from that he also wrote novels short stories poetry wow please look up samuel beckett for your exam here is samuel beckett good the rhyme of the ancient mariner you know who wrote it s t coleridge you are going to type but wait that is not the question what is the rhyme of the ancient mariner concerned with is it guilt and expiation suffering psychodrama or all of these is it guilt and expiation is it suffering is it psychodrama or all of these ankita Yes so this uh, work by Coleridge incorporates all of these elements so the answer is all of this the rhyme of the ancient mariner has strong biblical overtones you know an ancient mariner is killing a bird called the albatross that comes and sits on his ship he's the bird is like the uh, god's messenger but he kills it and then the bird hangs from his neck and there is a skeleton ship approaching where death and life in death are playing dice death claims all the mariners and life in death claims the ancient mariner he does not die but he has to live a life in death and then a boat comes along where there is a hermit and our ancient mariner tells the her hermit what happened to him and then you know what happens there is a group of glowing fish and the mariner feels uh, blessed about the god's creations he does expiation that means prayaschit prayaschitam yeah and he is now going everywhere telling people his story that is the thing that happened in the rhyme of the ancient mariner did you understand everyone okay Ankita, would you like to read the question? Which work of Pope among the following exhorts the poets to follow nature? Is it pastorals, an essay on criticism, an essay on man, or Windsor Forest? Alexander Pope exhorted poets to follow nature. What do you mean by that? It means follow 
human nature as it is depicted in classical works. Follow human nature as it is depicted in classical works. And later Rousseau said return to nature. That means external nature. Okay, Ankita, which is the work? It is an essay on a criticism. An essay on criticism is about how writers and critics should behave. Follow nature is an essay on criticism. That's right. Okay. That is an essay on criticism by Alexander Pope, 1711. Only today in our six-month batch, I taught Alexander Pope. Dear friends, if you are joining the course this time, you should join because if the syllabus changes, this time will be easy cut off. It won't be very difficult. You join the course now and prepare and pass this exam before it's too late. Every lecture is recorded with lifetime access for you. And there will be a lot of quizzes, a lot of revision. People who have joined the course are really happy. They are doing really well. It, it's your time to join. You can contact us if you want. Okay. The Fox is the alternate title of Ben Johnson's. Is it Volpony, The Alchemist, Epicene or Bartholomew Fair? You know that all these are comedies of humors, isn't it? Ankita, the fox means what? It is an eccentricity of character based on the four humors. Blood, phlegm, choler and melancholy. Ankita, can you explain and answer? Yes. So here, uh, Volpini is the answer. And the full title is Volpini or the Fox. Here actually Volpini, the titular character, has characteristics like uh, that of a fox. He's very cunning, very sly, who is actually pretending to be very ill or dying. And he's trying to get gifts from his uh, from the people. He's, he's saying that, okay, I'm dying. I will give all my property to you. But he's not dying. He's actually plotting a plan with his servant Mosca. So he's very cunning. And that's why there's a uh, full title, Volpini or the Fox. And Mosca represents the fly. Fly, fly. Like yes. a parasite he is. Yes. The legacy hunters who give, uh, bring gifts, they are also compared to various animals. Yes. And birds. Volpini or the fox. Volpini is praying to gold like God at the beginning. Hmm. Okay, Ankita, your turn. Sibyl or the two nations is a novel which stresses the condition of the working class in England by Dash. So who wrote this novel? Is it J.S. Mill, Thomas Carlyle, Benjamin Disraeli or Charles Reed? Sibyl or the two nations is a condition of England novel. That means about the working classes. Another name for condition of England novel is industrial novel. And I will give you a clue. Most of you are answering. It is the prime minister, the Jewish prime minister of England. It is Benjamin Disraeli who wrote Sibyl or the two nations. It's part of a trilogy. Yeah. yeah. This novel concerns a young married woman, the former Constance Reed whose upper-class baronet husband, described as a handsome, well-built man, is wheelchair-ridden. He is paralyzed from the waist down because of a Great War injury. Great War is the First World War. So Constance Reed, we can't tell her married name because that is the name of the novel. Yeah. <laughs> Identify the novel. Cakes and Ale... Lady Chatterley's Lover, The End of the Affair, or Bright's Head Revisited. She falls in love with the gamekeeper, Oliver Melors. Tell me, Ankita, what is the answer? Lawrence's Lady Chatterley's Lover. It is Lady Chatterley's Lover. The movie is also there in Netflix. It was banned. And it was published by Penguin. The first dictionary of the English language was compiled by whom? It's a PYQ. You have given 
the picture there ankita would you like to read the options yes so who com- who was the first person who brought out the first dictionary in english language samuel johnson ben johnson james boswell or sir walter rale it was nobody uh, had any doubts huh, it yes, was dr samuel, samuel johnson ulta pulta ho gaya you should have put this there <laughs> actually here also we have the writing exactly. by samuel johnson <laughs> <laughs> okay which work among the following was written at the direct orders of king richard the second king richard the second said are likho kuch english mein angrezi mein he said <laughs> the canterbury tales divine comedy confessio amantis or is it hires the plowman Ankita it is John Gower who wrote his only english work that is confessio amantis at the direct orders of king richard the 2nd before that john gower wrote the specula meditandis in french and yeah. vox clamantis in latin and uh, king richard the 2nd said are yaar kuch likho hi angrezi mein <laughs> that is how he wrote in english i am just kidding he didn't say that thank you da you are done which among the following is not an essential characteristics characteristic of post modernism is it rationality parody but pastiche or intertextuality one of these is not a feature of post modernism post modernism <laughs> is against rationality yes post modernism employs parody pastiche and intertextuality post modernism but does not believe in the monolithic edifice of reason or rationality correct okay the main force behind the journal the review that started in 1704 who is the main force the editor is it john dryden joseph addison daniel d four or richard steel the review ankita do you know the answer it was started by daniel defo yes daniel defo wrote uh, edited the review the rambler samuel richardson johnson sorry samuel johnson johnson <laughs> the tatler steel steel and addison yeah uh, spectator addison correct in which novel the serene and maternal mrs ramsay the tragic yet absurd mr ramsay and their children and assorted guests are on a holiday on the isle of sky it is in scotland isle of sky ankita you can read the options and tell yes. us it huh. so in which novel do we find all these characters on a vacation is it mrs dalloway to the lighthouse Orlando a biography or is it the waves it is the novel to the lighthouse by virginia wolf where we see all these characters have come together and they're on a vacation on the isle of sky even they they even though they're all together each of them feels like a li- an island yes in the first part of the novel there are three parts in the first part of the novel they're all partying but they're all feeling like islands they cannot uh adjust with each other there is no they they don't gel or sync in the second part you see that 10 years have passed and the world war has happened people including mrs ramsay have died in the last part the remaining people are getting together on the same island dear friends you should look up the year of publications you should look up the characters they can ask you these questions make sure you get them right dissociation of sensibility was a phrase introduced by t s eliot in his essay is it tradition and the individual talent milton the second the metaphysical poets or none of these ankita yes it is in his essay the metaphysical poets where he talks about this dissociation of sensibility where feeling and thinking are getting a uh, splitted so there is a split in thinking and feeling according to ts eliot and he talks about this dissociation in his essay the metaphysical poets 
that happened in the 17th century. And uh, before that, in the works of Dunn, there was a unification of sensibility. Now, this dissociation is a kind of fragmentation, which is the feature of modernism. Uh, the modernist poets are still suffering from that dissociation. So he is writing about John Donne in order to revive the unification of sensibility. Right. Ankita, can you read? Wow, what juicy tomatoes. <laughs> the poem, Ode to Tomatoes, is written by whom? Is it Pablo Neruda, Octavio Paz, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, or Che Guerra? <clears throat> Old to tomatoes. Yes. Pablo Neruda is surely the poet here. Is he the answer? Yes. It is Neruda only who wrote Ode to Tomatoes. <laughs> Somebody wrote Ode to Mangoes, eh? Ode to Onions also, I think he wrote. Ah, correct, yeah. correct. Yeah. <laughs> Ode to the Onion or something. Yeah. Pura sabji bana diya poetry mein. Which poem of Wordsworth is autobiographical? Daffodils, The Prelude, Michael, none of these. Is it The Prelude? Yes. The prelude. It is a spiritual autobiography of uh, William Wordsworth. Okay, dear friends, Angita will read the next question. A Journey on Bare Feet. A novel, it's a personal and deeply moving account of a woman's struggle towards intellectual and emotional self-realization in a hostile environment. So who wrote this novel? Is it Dalip Kaur Tivana, Amrita Pritam, Sudha Malhotra, or Kiran Aluwalia? She's a Punjabi novelist. This writer is a Punjabi novelist who wrote this novel. By looking at the picture, we know she is Punjabi. Yes. <laughs> so, Dalip Kaur or Amrita Pritam? It is Dalip Kaur Tivana who wrote this novel. Because Amrita Pritam does not look like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A journey on bare feet. Horace Walpole's The Castle of a Trando purports to be a translation of an Italian tale, a French tale, a German tale, a Spanish tale. The Castle of a Trando purports to be Translation of an Italian tale, originally written by Unufrio Moralto, translated by William Marshall, gentleman. Yes. Okay, Ankita. Andrew Marvell's The Rehearsal Transprosed is a dash. Is it a poetical satire, prose satire, or religious poem, or none of these? The Rehearsal Transprosed. It is, is it poetical satire? No, it's Ankita. a prose satire. Oh, it is a prose yes. satire. Mm. The rehearsal transprosed. Do you know, Ankita, to whom it was written, addressed? No, it wasn't, uh, no, I, I couldn't exactly pinpoint to whom it Samuel was. Samuel uh, Parker. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Samuel Parker. It's there in our encyclopedia. Ah, okay, okay. Mr. Bumble, the cruel, pompous beetle, is in which novel of Dickens? The Pickwick Papers, Oliver Twist, David Copperfield, Nicholas Nickleby. Mr. Bumble is in oh, Oliver oh, Twist. Oliver Twist. <laughs> Ankita, your turn. Who among the following is a celebrated diarist of the 17th century? John Dunn. Samuel Pepys, John Locke, or John Bunyan? Bunyan, kyu bol rahe Bunyan. Who <laughs> 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 among the following is a celebrated diarist? We know it. Samuel Pepys, I think Peeps or something is the pronunciation. John Evelyn and Samuel Peeps. Pe Peeps. Okay. Blood Wedding is a Dash by Spanish dramatist Frederico Garcia Lorca. Or a Spanish wedding, maga matlab, uh, one bride was going to marry a bridegroom and the bridegroom runs away with another man and oh my God, in the forest there is such a bloody ending. Ah, is it comedy, tragedy or tragic comedy? There is so much comedy throughout actually. 
So is it comedy tragedy or tragic comedy? It's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. Even though there is, there are absurdities in the middle, at the end, it is a terrible tragedy. And very interestingly, death here actually comes as a beggar. That's yeah. very interesting. Yeah. Death is a beggar and moon is a woodcutter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that brings us to the end of this amazing discussion. There were lots of very important questions. Very important authors that we brought in front of you. I hope you will read on your own. You will, uh, you know, thoroughly go through these writers and works, study them thoroughly. Wish you all the best. Tomorrow, we will come with another set practice. HP set, MH set, TN set. Sab log a jao. Okay. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.